Hi. Uh, in this in this video, we will understand how we can create a portfolio item through SAP Fury app. So my main agenda is to explain uh, how we can create item through SAP Fury app in S4 HANA system. So before going to understand item, here we are looking for a standard portfolio structure. In this slide, uh, you can see whenever we are creating portfolio, uh, first of all, we need to create a portfolio definition, which will be based on the organization objectives. Okay, and uh, to fulfill these objects of objectives, we need to execute some project. Okay, so that is the main main agenda to 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 cover by SAP PPM functionalities. So here in the project definition, uh, within project definition, you can create a portfolio bucket and uh, you can have multiple level of bucket as how you can see here in this uh, slide. Uh, this is my first level of bucket and uh, this bucket is having next level of bucket. And then within this bucket, you can create a portfolio initiative or directly you can create a portfolio item. Okay, so it is up to you. And uh, here, when uh, you are going to integrate portfolio item, we are having two options. You can create directly, you, you can link with your PS project. You can integrate with your PS project or you can integrate with PPM project. Okay. So anyone, any direction you can choose. You cannot choose both the direction from portfolio item itself. Okay. If you want to go for both the option, in that case, you need to go with PPM project first and then this PPM project will be transferred to PS project. Okay, so this will be the option. So let us see how we can create a portfolio item through Fury. I'm opening my system. So here in SAP uh, PPM, uh, we are having available Fury apps. Uh, you will see all these app uh, in program management Second, you will see in in, in program management and uh, uh, after that we are having uh, another another group okay so these are the group available uh, okay uh, we are having program management we are having project management we are having project team project management office project steering committee so these are the standard available groups Okay, and within this group, you will have a specific app which you can execute as per your provided authorization. Okay, so if I want to create a portfolio item, here the item will be created by program manager. Okay, and uh, we need to uh, we need to click here on the portfolio item. Okay, so this is the available app which will be used to create a portfolio item. And uh, to create, uh, just click here, uh, double click here. So uh, as of now, I'm in with uh, portfolio. That is my portfolio name, Vipro Limited. Okay, and this my one do my online education. We have created for a practice purpose. So if you want to switch your portfolio, you can switch it to new portfolio. So I'm having other portfolios also here, Vipro. Portfolio My Vandu, Vipro Limited, Vipro Technologies, WLB Automa Automobiles, XCC. So these are the available portfolios here. I am selecting uh, the same portfolio, Vipro Limited. You select it and select as is set as default and click on OK. So by default, whenever you are whenever you are going to create your your any object, you will be within uh, this portfolio by default. So I just want to create one portfolio item to, to execute my project for uh, SAP implementation project, for example. So you come here, you click on create, go to create item. And uh, here select your bucket. Okay, you go to IT solution. So you can create your item by selecting uh, item template or item type. If you have already existing item template, you will get all these item template list here and you can select your suitable template. Okay, and uh, if you don't have item template, you can directly select the item type and uh, then you can proceed for the creation of item. 
so here in this system i don't have any item template i am selecting item type you click here and uh, here consulting project this is the project this is the item type which i am selecting here go to continue so this project i am creating for sap implementation okay so in this item you will have tabs and sub tabs here the overview documents and notes and miscellaneous these are the tabs and within a overview we are having general information additional information classification financial information capacity information custom long text field these are all sub tab okay so specific tabs are having different areas okay so this key information is one of one of uh, area and uh, which is having the different fields that is name id status type project management template priority all these are the field which are available within area key information or you can say screen group also so here i am just entering the name of my project id is taken automatically by the system status is in preparation as of now and this is the template wlb project management template which is will be used to transfer or integrate your ppm project with this item and here you can enter the long description of uh, project detail okay so here i'm seeing a project then plan start and plan finish date so here i'm selecting plan start is from 1st of august 2021 and plan finish date is let's say uh, november 30th okay and uh, apart from that uh, additional information uh, i don't need any data here classification you select the category okay so this is my it project and accordingly you will get sub category you select this is a software requirement technology type here uh, it is uh, enterprise software and the group is uh, i'm saying here test project okay and area is let's say india so i have entered all these details financial information in this stage i don't need any any details to be entered in this tab and just i am saving my item click on save so once i'll save my item you will see object created data saved successfully some more fields are activated here now okay so this is item header which is having all details of your item this is the item header okay and here specification design implementation and testing these are my four decision points okay and uh, this is new tab new button is coming after saving of my item because my project my ppm project has been created automatically as per pre configurations okay so to check that go to project go to task so this is the project which is created here in this project this is a project description this is a project number okay here project type reason responsible role and responsible resources you can see uh, all the available uh, phases here tbr1 tbr2 a tbr2 b all these are the phases and here you will see the the, the tabs st structure resources accounting status report project version project charter search milestone trend analysis so what i'm going to do i'm going to create one road here for my project so go to resource go to create road and uh, let's say a role type is okay i'm saying the project manager save it and then i'm going to staff this role staffing means assigning of resources to your role okay so here assign candidate or staff so let me search any stuff here user uh, okay so i'm searching based on selections parameter here uh, resources let me see okay one second employee role i'll go with the employee role okay so 
select here the employee role and you click on go uh, you will get a list of all the employees yeah so i will or you can search by name also so name by like let me search with my name um, and so this will take you here in item okay so item is created you save it and uh, you can check your available item here in your fury app so to see that go come back here to your initial screen so if you want to see your assigned item you you go with this app my portfolio item you double click here so these are the two items which have been uh, assigned to me okay so these are the all item active items you can see active proposals active escalations and inactive item okay so this is the way how you can create uh, your item in, in sap ppm through fury app okay so thank you